Hello there, everyone. I'm Giovanni with Haverford Township Free Library, and today we are bringing you another quick two-minute book review. Uh, so this is one meant for our teens today because I have more manga. Uh, so this one is called Galaxy Girl and Panda Boy. This was originally made by Juko Kawakami and published by Tokyo Pop back in 2005. Uh, so a little bit of info about this book is it's actually a collection of stories. This is the second volume in a series known as Passion Fruit, which Passion Fruit is a collection of stories that have to do with self-reflection of human desire, how we try and go about our lives, and certain things that we're not sure how to talk about with other people. Uh, so this one had three different stories into it. Uh, the first story was about a girl who is quickly growing up in her hometown that she's not too fond of. She wants to try and get out of her hometown as soon as possible, but she slowly realizes that enjoyment she can find in her hometown with the people that live there. The second story is about a relationship between a guy and a girl. Uh, the girl is not too sure if she should stick with her partner because he's not someone who's a go-getter. He's not out there to try and improve himself. He's more of a lead-back surfer type of guy. Uh, but she soon realizes that he has his own way of showing affection and care for the people around him that not other people might not see. The third story, which is the one that takes up the majority of this book, is uh, about a is between a brother and a sister who are abandoned by their parents at a school out in the middle of nowhere with other kids who were considered n non who who weren't exactly wanted. Let's say. Uh, so I like that story a lot because it really shows how fast you have to grow up sometimes when you're thrown into a situation like that at least and how you have to rely on other people around you to try and improve, improve yourself. Because sometimes when we're by ourselves and something like that, we don't know what the next step should be or even how to take a step forward after that. So I think this book does a really good job of making you think about your own situation sometimes, what you would do in that scenario, how you would go about stuff. All right, well, I think that's enough information about this book. This isn't in the library just yet, but when I can, I'm going to actually donate this so you guys can get your hands on it. Uh, so... I've been Giovanni with Haverford Township Free Library, and I hope you guys all have a very nice day. Bye-bye now.